So this this is gonna be a little bit different. Um, I'm usually more or less games, but today I'm going to get into a little bit of something that is more or less passion. Because don't get me wrong, I love games. I'm passionate about games, and that's my like, it's my thing. But oh my god, nasty shot. But I'm just so in love with basketball. I've been in love with basketball ever since, like, I was maybe 17, I think. I grew up in Toronto. I grew up loving hockey. I grew up playing hockey, the Leafs, and all that stuff. And I just, I never really found basketball because Chris Bosh fucking left Toronto. Vince Carter left Toronto. We were the bottom of the pack. There was no real reason to watch Toronto basketball. Toronto had such terrible sports for such a long time. And now and now we're good. And now we're fucking champions. <clears throat> so today I'm kind of here and I want to talk a little bit about Kawhi Leonard. The Claw. Um, he put up possibly one of the best one and done seasons ever. In the history of sports, let alone basketball, like, this guy literally showed up to a city he did not want to come to, originally, and he fucking won a championship. Unbelievable. This man is literally on another level. They doubted him the entire way. It was incredible. Like, I had some, I had some pretty bold predictions all season long. I said we were, uh, honestly, I called, Co the minute he wanted out of San Antonio, I'd called it. Who the fuck else has a better trade package for them than Toronto? It's not Boston, because Danny Ainge isn't going to part with his pieces like he never fucking does. And that's why AD is a Laker. You talk so much about fucking this and that, Danny Ainge this, Danny Ainge that. He drafted one all-star. He failed to get you Anthony Davis. He didn't. He has not got you anybody other than Kyrie Irving, and he wants to fucking cut. Anyways, enough about Boston. We don't think Warrior ever concern ourselves with the Boston Celtics anymore. Um, Kawhi Leonard, yeah, he's put up an incredible season, and now it's just what's next. Does he stay in Toronto? Does he go to LA? What's gonna happen here? So I'm, I'm thinking, it's a, uh, it's a tough call to make, man. Honestly, you don't know with this guy. Like a lot of people are in the media are gonna tell you this and that. Like they're gonna fucking get into some sort of storyline with it. But like, there is really no telling. Doesn't matter what any of these NBA analysts think. There's no fucking telling with this guy. Um, honestly, being somebody who lives in Toronto, who's lived in Toronto all their life, who's obsessed with this team, I would say if anybody else is on the same level as I am, they would be all right with this man wanting to leave and going home. There's not a problem with that. And we can't, we can't detest a man who has now brought us a championship who's leaving to go play home. I mean, if he goes, like, let's say he goes to, like, Minnesota or something. It's like, what the hell? Then it's a little bit like, whoa, what the fuck? But, like, if he goes home to L.A. Clippers, he goes to play near there, then we can't hate the man. We really can't. Do I think he's going? Honestly, I do not. I believe he has found himself. I, I don't remember who said this quote. Maybe it was Shannon Sharp or some dumb shit, I don't know. But somebody said... Greg Popovich tried shipping him to Siberia, but he ended up setting up shop and striking oil. And it's like, bro, I couldn't have said that better myself. The biggest fucking risk ever, and it pays off to the fullest extent. I don't know. The thing about it is it's a hard case to make because both the Clippers and Raptors are so similar. Like, take Kawhi Leonard out of the picture. They're... They're such a similar team. The way they play, the, the... 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 What do you call it? That kind of, um... That kind of feel you get when you look at this team where it's like... There's no huge names on this team, but they're fucking fighting. They're... They're going fucking beast. They're fighting. They're a bunch of team... They're a bunch of players 
who understand each other and understand that this game needs to be played to a team extent in order to play and in order to play successfully. And I truly do believe the Clippers have a situation like that. They've found themselves in a fantastic situation over the past couple of years, ever since the Chris Paul trade. Landry Shamit. I've been saying this ever since I saw that kid play for the first time in Philadelphia. I'm a huge Philly fan. I've got my Simmons jersey. I was not a Philly fan when we were having that series against them. Which, by the way, in my opinion, was probably the best series in the NBA playoffs this year. In all honesty, Philadelphia, Toronto, probably the best series you can watch. I watched every series. I'll be honest with you. I. It's a matter of which what Kawhi wants to do. These teams are very similar. They have no all-stars on their team. I mean, you can make a debate for Kyle Lowry. He's like an, I would consider him an on and off all-star. He's that one who doesn't, he, I, I kind of feel like he barely makes it simply because of the fact he's in Toronto. He's putting up these points. He's a great, he's a great player. I believe he deserves to be an all-star, but I feel like he barely makes it in all honesty. Um, so yeah, you can, and the Clippers literally do not have an all-star. So these are two teams that play very similar. They play like a team. They are well constructed and that's what this man likes. And that's why I believe it is down to this final two-man race, the Toronto Raptors and the LA Clippers. And in my opinion, the Clippers, each team has one, each team has one fucking uh, advantage over the other. For the Clippers, it's he can go be near his home. He can go play in fucking common, ter common territory. And for the Raptors, it's a fucking championship. He's won a championship. He's built this whole fucking brand here. Do you understand? How huge this shit is, and, and I don't know if anyone's watching from wherever the hell in the Americans, in the Americas, but here in Canada, this fun guy, bored man gets paid, oh my lord, this whole thing has taken off here, it is on fire, so it's, I, I mean, you've kind of built something here, Kawhi Leonard, and do you really want to leave that to go play for the Clippers? I mean, at first I'd be like, I don't know if the Clippers make it to the finals. But after this finals, like, we we smoked the Golden State Warriors. I'm sorry, we smoked you guys. You want to put up excuses. Oh, you didn't have Durant. Oh, you didn't have this. You didn't have that. Yeah, I'm sorry you didn't have your fucking f 5 out of 5 All-Stars at the ready, alright? <laughs> you couldn't handle one man with what you had which was a championship roster so i'm sorry there is no excuses we smoked you and that arena belongs to toronto um yeah i'll be honest with you i didn't come in this with a script or anything it's just if you ask me where Kawhi leonard stays i just have this feeling i have this i just don't know if there's a i think he's I think he's enjoyed this. I think he realizes. I'm. I wouldn't. Be, he's. You've heard Uncle Dennis before. I'm sure you've heard the quote. He's spoken very highly of Toronto often. These guys all come here during the summer, and he's gonna get to spend a little bit of his summer here. Um. I'm not sure what he's saying right now. I'm not sure what his. I know his wife apparently had a new kid, and I don't know what that situation is. I don't know if they're here in Toronto with it. If whatever's going on, you know, that's none of my business. That's not anyone's business. But. You know, having a new kid, and I believe the kid was born here in Canada, was it? I'm not too sure. I'm not too certain. But, you know, that's obviously got to play a factor into that. Um, so it's a matter of what he wants to do. Does he want to stay in this fantastic situation he's just found himself in and try and go for another championship next year? Or does he want to go for the Clippers, play near home, and again still compete for a championship this man is the best player in the league and there is no refuting that because he fucking took this team to the championship he smoked everything in his path and then at the end of it all he smoked up to celebrate so i don't know man uh it's it's all wishful thinking oh i think he's gonna stay here i think he's gonna go there nobody knows only this man knows. I I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if he's already made his decision. 
I wouldn't have been surprised if he'd made his decision before he even got here. You know what I mean? Like, maybe he's already had his agenda. Maybe he already wants to go to L.A. You know, he never... We just finished the parade. Fantastic parade. Longest parade ever. Um... And, uh, he never, he never once said anything about staying. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Kyle Lowry getting the crowd to chant five more years, and then Uncle Dennis getting involved. Like, that's just all playful thinking. Like, that's not fucking... Like, you know how much money is at stake here? They're not just gonna throw up five fingers and say, oh yeah, he's staying, and just, like, fucking dick around with all this money on the table. If he stays for five years, that's $200 million in his pocket. Although here in here in Canada, which is going to be taxed and not as much as American dollars or whatever the fuck. I don't know how it works playing here in Canada. Does Kawhi really want to go through customs every time when he leaves for the next five years? All that shit. Does he want to go through this? We will find out. Um, from this standpoint... I believe Kawhi Leonard has found himself a home in Toronto. He will always have a home in Toronto. He will always be a Toronto legend for what he's just done. And you're fucked up to think that he's not in any way, shape, or form a Toronto legend at this point for what he's done. I mean, you can debate who's the best Raptor. DeRozan, Kyle Lowry. Yeah, you can say Kawhi Leonard is not the greatest Raptor of all time. I think sheerly because, in my opinion, he is the greatest Raptor of all time. I'd love to, I, I, I really would love to say DeRozan, and I did all season long. I was like, yo, this man is the greatest Raptor of all time. But Kawhi, like, the, there's no not including the fact that this man single-handedly brought us a championship, developed this whole brand over here, King of the North, fun guy, the board man. This man has been the best player this franchise has ever seen in its 24-year history. This has been the greatest season we've ever had in our 24 year season history. And it is absurd to not include that when you think of not the greatest player the Raptors ever had, the greatest Raptor. You want to say, oh, think of what DeMar did for this city. Think of what Vince Carter did. Vince Carter brought basketball for Toronto. DeMar DeRozan brought this for Toronto. Motherfucker, Kawhi Leonard bought a goddamn trophy for Toronto. Which Tracy McGrady had no intentions of ever doing. Vince Carter... At one point, maybe would love to, but never did because he couldn't. DeMar DeRozan, I'm sorry, could not get it done. I love DeMar DeRozan. I love him. He is one, in my opinion, the greatest Raptor of all time if it wasn't for this Kawhi Leonard thing. But Kawhi Leonard just absolutely puts up a monster case. And if you and if, if you don't know where he's going to sign, that's fine. Nobody does. Just enjoy Kawhi Leonard. For what he truly is. And that is a fucking monster. I believe he stays with Toronto. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I can promise you one thing. It's Toronto versus Clippers. That there's That's one thing. That's the one thing we can probably guarantee you. Toronto versus Clippers. So let me know what you think. Does he resign or does he go to LA? I'm don't die Dimitri. Don't fucking die on me. Because my name is Dimitri. And I will see y'all later.